Hi, this is Carl the Landscape Guy and today we're going to take a look at the cockpit and steering from the inside the Komatsu PC-88. This 9-ton excavator is powered by a 4-cylinder 3.3-liter diesel engine with 69 horsepower. Various automatic speed settings as well as automatic speed reduction, eco mode and a low noise level is supposed to make this machine powerful and environmentally friendly. This mid-size excavator offers a spacious, comfortable and ergonomic cap with adjustable control units. It's equipped with the Komatsu monitor which includes a reversing camera. Here the cooling water temperature, the hydraulic oil temperature and the fuel level are displayed. The time and the fuel consumption in liters per hour are displayed too. With the F4 key, I can switch between the time and operating hours here on the left. The monitor is operated via the function keys F1 through F6 and the gray keys 1, 2, 3 down here. The symbols for these keys down here are shown in the top right of the display. At the top left, you'll find three information symbols. The first one is for not wearing a seatbelt, the second one is to show whether the engine is on or off, and the last one for whether or not the joysticks are still locked. Now I can start the excavator with the ignition key. I unlock the joysticks by folding down the left joystick unit. I have the option on the right here to control the gas manually with the potentiometer. However, this only takes effect as soon as you use the joysticks to move the excavator. After 3 seconds the excavator switches the speed down again automatically. With button number 1 the automatic speed can be switched off, then the excavator will always run in the selected speed from the potentiometer. The second symbol key controls the operating mode and allows you to choose between several modes. The power mode is for the backhoe operation at maximum demand. The eco mode is for lighter work such as loading loose soil. The fine control mode is intended for filigree load carrying work such as fine grading or the precise setting of lighter concrete parts. in which case the overload warning system is also active. The next mode is the B for breaker, but we're going to skip over that one to go to ATTP mode, the attachment's power mode with hydraulic operation. As a result, the automatic speed control is now active again. Now the hydraulic attachment can be operated by pushing the button forward on the right joystick.
If an attachment needs to be changed, the red unlocking switch must first be activated here on the left. Unlocking is indicated by a signal tone and a symbol on the screen. In order to open it, the upper button on the left joystick must now be pressed. Then the control pin moves out of the quick coupler adapter plate. The plate should never be put down in the dirt without attachments, otherwise the connections will quickly become dirty or even damaged. The hydraulic couplings are especially sensitive. The foot pedals in the middle are for driving forwards and backwards. Two different speeds can be selected with the number 3 key. The left pedal is here for the adjusting boom, which can be driven up and down. The right pedal can be secured with this metal plate. It operates the left-right adjustment of the boom, so that working with the PC-88 is also possible within the offside zone. The blue buttons are for heating and air conditioning. In addition to the blower, the temperature and climate control can be set here. The sticker on the right side window reiterates the most important information needed to operate the excavator. The left joystick not only opens the quick coupler, but also rotates the hook. The right joystick opens and closes the gripper. Here you can also turn on the horn or a hydraulic breaker. I hope this video helps you in using the PC-88 excavator or any other excavator that's similar. And this video was created with kind support of Balser Landscape Construction Company as well as Schluter Construction Machinery Incorporation. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out my channel for more construction videos and have a great day. This is Carl the Landscape Guy.